Hey guys, it's Tinker Taylor here today and I am bringing you another build by overview. So I did it for the force range pack and I thought, hey, why not do it for the four rent pack? So uh, here we are in Tumaring. Uh You can see there are, I don't, I don't want to call it a downtown area, but I guess downtown area. And then um, this sort of area. So um, yeah, uh, I'll start reading the world description for you. So it says, Grown from humble roots off the coast of Shisi, Tomarang is lively with local fair, community chaos, and legends of lore. Known for its tight-knit communities and sun-filled shared spaces, Tomarang is a lush landscape of possibilities. Come cozy up with nature or fish around for neighborly niceties and whimsical secrets. Whether you're flying solo or raising generations, this region offers a warm welcome to any multi-living lifestyle. Uh, so up here we have got Morinsong, which is a bustling city, uh, sorry, bustling neighborhood with a pockets of idyllic peace and nooks of neighborly nuance. Morinsong is the spot for vibrant communities to thrive day or night, stroll through the botanical gardens, or throw down a game of playground hopscotch. Even join the night market buzz for some sunset shopping and moonlit munchies. The possibilities are endless. And then down here we have Kosafar. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Neighbours with nature or other tenants, Kosafar offers a more relaxed lifestyle along the river. After a dip in the sea or some much needed time, beach time, gather around at the screaming gecko for a drink or two. Feeling warm hearted from all the sun, visit the Sulia Tiger Sanctuary to support local conserv conservation. No matter the choice, Kosafar is the ideal spot for the go with the flow attitude. So down here we have uh, five lots, two of them being empty, so 20 by 20 and a 30 by 20 empty. Um, and then we have a 20 by 15 a residential lot, a 30 by 20 um, unit lot, I guess, apartment lot. And then we have a 20 by 20 screaming gecko lounge. And then up here we have the 30 by 30 botanical garden or national park. We have another set of units um, on a 20, 20 by 20 lot, um, a cafe, oh no sorry that's a residential, um, residential on 20 by 15 and then there's this 40 by 30 lot which would be empty but I have filled it with all of the, the items. Um, I haven't quite gone into debug too much just because it's a small lot but here we have all of the items. So there's quite a lot going on here um, and I will take you through it bit by bit. But I think I will start up here. So these are the pre-designed rooms. This is an outdoor kitchen. Um, you can see a lot of the different items here. Um, I quite like it. I think it's super fun and I think it's something you see in real life. Uh, here we have an indoor kitchen. Uh, excuse the archway out into the nothingness but um just have a little look around i think it is super cute um the lights just it's just all really well done um some of the pre-designed rooms can be a bit questionable but i really like these ones and then over here we have a bathroom um and it's got the traditional squat toilet and that window's not supposed to be there, that's from another wall, I'm so sorry, from another room. Um, but I think this is quite a beautiful bathroom, and I think it's good to see some representation. Um, I've never used one of uh, these toilets before, I've always used a western style toilet, but I have seen them in real life before, and I think it's really good to, to represent different cultures. Um, and then in here we have got like a little lounge sitting area, and I think, again, they really stepped it up in terms of this game and then we've got this little outdoor area i believe this is a shrine um and i do have it placed i think down here so we'll have a little look at these things later um so yeah just a cute little outdoor area now i do have all the windows and doors on the back so i think uh please ignore the glitching but we'll have a look at that um so there are some balconies, they do come in different colours, but unfortunately I could not fit all of the windows. Um, I could have picked a different lot, but I really wanted to do it in this world because it's honestly so beautiful. 
Um, so yeah, we have mm, quite interesting windows. I think these are sort of things that you wouldn't see uh, typically in the Western world. So I, I think they're absolutely gorgeous and I cannot wait to use them. Um, so these are all windows here. I'm going to softly go across. Um, now this little square bit up here, you can move wherever you want. I just put it up there so that you could see it was separate. Um, so we've got three different wall heights like full wall height windows but you've also got this little square one if you kind of wanted to make your own little pattern or whatever um you can see the windows up the top here um how they're being used in these rooms and then we are up to the doors now so this is a door um i absolutely love it here is another door with a like a, a shop front locking thing i don't think it I think it's just a normal door and then we've got our third door here um and then the windows that sort of match it you can see the door being used up there um and then around this side i have filled this room i think i'm just gonna build this room with a lot of things so we will go and have a look at that but first this is the um bandrel, and then it matches these windows and then there is this one on this side, which does come in other colours. So if you want it in grey or pink, and I believe it's to match all of these wall colours here. So, yeah, why don't I show you that? So we've got some stucco, and it comes in all these different colours here. I think I've gotten them all. Um, I really, really love some of these colours, and I can't wait to use them. I think it's fun to have some bright colours like these, but then some darker, chilled, more relaxed colours. Um, and then we've got these um, uh, wooden walls. So you've got three different types here. You've got sort of longer ones, shorter ones, and then so these are vertical and this one's horizontal. And then we've got some really fun uh, wallpaper over here. So they're all pretty much the same. Um, they've got a few different patterns along the bottom. And I think that's super fun and cute. Uh, we've also got this foundation, which is new. So the foundation is from the pack. Um, and now the flooring. So over here you can see these are corner tiles. This is to go around the corner. This is the middle of the room. And then this is the bordering tiles. So I've done them all across in the different colors i think this one here is my favorite um i would have thought this one would have been my favorite and it is a close second but i don't know the colors in this one are pretty cool um and then we've got some wooden flooring that kind of matches the colors of the wooden walls and then some outdoor stone and over here are some more tiles but these ones do not have the same edge pieces as the there they're just some pretty pretty tiles um again no edge pieces but still quite beautiful uh and then we've got these flooring pieces so when you put them down it'll change depending on what you how you put them so you know if you put it here it'll just be the tile uh the flower sorry the flower what are these called um feathers sorry and then over here is the brick options um so yeah that is all of the bits from over here i guess um sorry the stairs these railings so these are new railings these are also new railings and then over here we can move faster these are also the new railings i really like them um and they have a matching fence all three of those have matching fences that you can see over here again um they match but we also got three new fences so they come with matching gates um and i'm super excited for these i absolutely love um gates like these i think it creates a lot of privacy but also a bit of luxury and elegance um so you'll see that without the fence there's a big window bit i don't I, it's not quite a window but it's a, a window paneling i guess but when you put the gate on it makes it smaller uh and i think we will start with the roof so here is new roof uh items 
um, you can kind of put them in for decoration. I think it's really pretty. Same with this one. It's a little bare compared to the, this one here, but still quite useful, I reckon. Um, and then we got these two new roof tiles and this roof piece here and this roof spire as well. And then we have um, water heaters. So one of these is functional. One of these is this one back here is not. So they look identical if you want it to be functional. If you don't want it to be functional, you've got your options. Same with the water heater and the panel, electrical outlet panel. Um, so why don't we go down and, oops, have a look. So this is the electrical panel. This is the non-functional one, and this is the functional one. The only way I can tell the difference is it says it down in the corner here. Um, so make sure if you want it to be functional, you pick the right one. Uh, but as you can see, there are also some decorations. I'm so sorry about the glitching. I don't know what that is. Um, but this is a for rent sign. Um, these are some beautiful hand-woven baskets. Beautiful hand carvings. These I think I'm going to be using quite a lot because they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, and they come in some different colours. Same with the elephant. Uh, I believe this is a no-shoe sign. Uh, the wooden baskets come in a different colour. I believe this is a vent. Um, you can't see it from the other side. If you turn around, you, you can't see it. And uh, then we have this beautiful thing, which is a limeware platter. And it comes in some beautiful swatches. I really like this one. Um, I'm not normally really into like bright pastels. Um, but yeah, I think it's beautiful. And then we have a sign. You want to use more things like if you want more signs we have a few more options and then down here we have some uh, uh, tapestries um, which I think are absolutely beautiful and I love the detailing in them um, this is an air conditioning so that's on the inside and that's what it would look like from the outside um, a adopter Ibert, which I believe is Ah, yes, a tiger to help out with the sanctuary. And then we have some more art over here with lots of different swatches. I believe it's the same two um, sets of images. Or maybe three. But they come in some different fun colours. And we have some rugs. I don't want to forget the rugs. Um, so a little welcome mat. It comes in a few different colours as well. Um, a leaf rug or a fern rug sorry um this has got some beautiful designs in it i think either this one or this one are my favorite and then we've just got a bigger fern version over here and now we can turn around and have a look at the kitchen items i think i'm going to go into this mode because i cannot stand the glitching so we have a lot of different cabinets uh, a lot of different colors sorry so there is a matching island and a matching, what do you call these, um, cabinet, I guess. Um, you'll see they don't go all the way to the end, but you can use, um, you'll see like there's a white one here and a white one down there. And you can just use this white one for the same, for both of them, um, because it matches. Or if you want to use a completely different one, that's up to you. But you can see there's a lot of grime marks everywhere. They are all new, so they are all individual. Um, so these two are separate, these two are separate. Up here they're all separate, um, which I love. I think you're going to see me using these quite a lot. Uh, we have another drinks tray, uh, a kettle, a steamer, another kettle, a dish rack, and a dishwasher. Um, I'm not quite too sure what this is. I didn't look at the names of everything. Uh, a white, oh, sorry, a tactical tiffin. I'm really sorry if I said that wrong. I, I'm not too sure what this is. Um, a triangle wedge cushion. A mysterious basket. A bird jail. Basketballs. A mortar and pestle. A, and these are, sorry, these are lights. Um, I didn't mean to have that one floating, sorry. Um, so there's still quite a lot going on here. Um, you can see all the different colours. And again, I put all the stools down with all the different colours. I apologise for the glitching again. Um, so 
yeah i think these are quite beautiful i'm not too sure which one's my favorite yet but we will see in the future as to which one i keep using obsessively uh this is what i was mentioning before you can use this white one here to match um or you can use you know other ones that match so this one again matches with this one um now we have some new lights we've got these three long wicker fish lights um they're quite beautiful and then we have the sisters lanterns and the antique transcendent lamp as well as a vegan not oil lantern and a white lily sconce which i think are absolutely beautiful um, as well as i said before these three lights down here um, we have this new mirror which i love i think it's super cute um, and we even get a new bar fridge, which again, that is really well done. I love the fact that there's actually quite a lot of food in there. Um, a whole cake and a cupcake in Chinese food, um, or it could be Japanese or Thai. But if it was me, it would probably either be Chinese or Japanese. Um, I don't know. I have an obsession, not an obsession, but I, I'm very heavily into Japanese food at the moment. And... I can never say no to Chinese food or, you know, the rest of it. I reckon Thai food, Vietnamese, all of it, fantastic. Um, and I'm thankful to live in a community at the moment where there are actually quite a lot of different ethnic groups so that I can try all the different foods. Instead of having them poorly made by people not from that culture, I can have it authentically made. But anyway, side tangent. Um, pizza. I'm not a huge fan of pizza. I, I, don't, I don't get the hype around it. I'm really sorry if you love pizza. Don't get it. It is not my thing. Uh, and we have some more bins, a new shelf, which I think, again, is really well decorated, really cute. I wish we had some of these items separately. Um, unfortunately, we don't. Now we have this um, new curtain rod and some new curtains, so they come in a bunch of different colours and styles. And then we also have just some um, with the metal rod as well. We've gotten four new plants, so unfortunately we didn't get any, um, like, outdoor plants. But we did get these indoor ones, and I love them. Um, and then this is the water heater I was mentioning earlier, so this is the functional one. The non-functional one looks absolutely identical. I accidentally put down the non-functional one first, but here we go, we hit the right one. Alright, let's get away from that glitching. Um, so we got new hot tubs, and I decided to put down every colour because, oh my goodness, let's, let's move out of the way, there we go. Um, I think they're absolutely, like, you could use these in so many different places, and I love them. I think, I, I don't think I have a favourite, actually, I was going to say maybe this brown one, but looking at them all, they all could be used. Now onto the bathroom items. So as we saw, there was a bathroom upstairs, um, but these are just all of the items all of the sinks in a different color all of the toilets in a different color and then all of the showers in a different color and my goodness look at these showers they are gorgeous uh we also have this which i believe is a child yes it's a baby's first chamber pot um and it comes in a cute different cute colors um and i think that's just super super cute um to include that um, so we've got a few more lounges. I'm super excited about this because this is something that's like every Australian has these in their backyard. Um, or at least maybe not every Australian, but quite a lot of us. So if you, if you go to one of our houses, someone's sure to have one. Um, and I reckon the green and the white are the two most popular colours we have. Um, and then there's just a little footstool bit. Um, we do sometimes actually get tables. That are made out of the same material like that but we didn't get that we got this little footstool which i still love um but i love this stuff more i i i do love that it's a little something i can relate to despite being a pack that's designed for a culture that is not mine um i still can quite relate to it uh but we also have this i believe it's rattan and i love it i think this is my favorite one um very heavily into the the medium woods like that's not a light wood it's not a dark like that's a light wood it's not a dark wood but it's sort of a medium wood and i love it um i think it's absolutely gorgeous we have this new uh coffee table 
and a fruit basket, which I think is just fantastic. And we even have some not so typical fruit. I don't know exactly what these would be representing, but if you do know what these fruit are, please let me know down below because I don't want to just say random fruit. I believe these would be peaches, maybe. Um, and that's just it's really cool to see different fruit to than what's traditional where I'm from. Um, and we got these two new dining tables again with the return. Um, I think this is my favorite set. Uh, oh, hello, there we go. Um, yes, and then this set matches the coffee table, so it's got a bunch of colors as well. Um, so if, yeah, if you like it but you want a different color, it does that. Same with the couches. Um, very beautiful, and I think. I would love to see these in your builds, and I'd love to see them again. Oops, I think this one's my favorite, and probably that one. I don't know. There's just something about that wood tone that really makes me happy. It just feels right. Um, and then we've got some radiators. So I know many countries use these, and I'm excited to use because there's some builds that I think I could use these in. Um. And yeah, that's pretty exciting. Um, I forgot to sorry talk about this. This is a ceramic vessel, and it comes in a few different colors as well. And then we have this adorable teapot, um, which I believe is an elephant, which I think that's just the cutest thing ever. And then down here we've got some kids' toys. So this is a tuk tuk. Sorry, a tuk tuk. I don't know why I said it like that. And then this is a jar of marbles, so in the picture you can see there's lots of marbles in there. And you can have uh, like stickers on them, and it's super cute. So this is where the kids would actually play marbles. And I believe, even though kids play marbles, I believe you can collect marbles even if you are not a kid. Um, and then we have some hopscotch over here, which I think that's just like... I think that's something that you do everywhere in the world. I think that's something quite a lot of kids do, and I'm so happy to see it here. Uh, we got two new grills. Um, this is probably my favorite, like, I think it's my favorite item, one of my favorite items so far from this pack, um, other than all of the rattan stuff, I think. I think that is, is cute. you're gonna have a hard time beating that with the rattan, but that is still super cute. So it comes in blue, green, obviously the red, a gray, and a black and wood color. Um, and then obviously these are all dresses. So um, they're, I just, it's beautiful colors, very cohesive and very elegant. I love it. Um, and then we have a bar with a bar back. Sort of like how they did in the horse range pack, but very stylized to this pack. Um, again, I think we all know this is my favorite color by now. Um, and then we have a bunch of, I guess, stalls. So this is the Moonlight Market Craft stall. This is the Vegan Biddles Night Market stall. This is the Late Night Snack Dessert stall. And this is the Rice to Meat Shoot Night Market stall. So I believe that... I think they said one of these isn't vegan, but the rest are. I Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I remember. Um, and then down here is the shrine I was talking to you about earlier. Oh, sorry, the spirit house. My mistake, sorry. Um, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the details on this, and it just feels like someone's made this with a lot of care and attention. Um, a lot of love. So, yeah, I think it's it's quite beautiful. And I'm happy to see it here. Um, now here we have a security gate. I'm not entirely sure if it's... Okay, so it's, wall, it's just wall decoration. Um, but that's what the security gate was on the door back here. We've got some street lighting and this festival lantern lighting, which again I think is so, so cute. Um, you can have some like lighter colours, richer colours, and I love it. I think it's adorable. Um, oops. Wrong button. So again, with this one, you can change the colors up. Um, and now to the mailboxes. I think this is so cool. So if you want to have a massive 
place, um, this would be a great mailbox for it. And then you've got some individual ones on the side here, but then some bigger ones in the middle. And this is just the same on the other side because I didn't like it looking like that. Uh, we have another communal bathroom sort of area called the unrest room. We have this fun, funky new umbrella. And it comes in some like single color swatches, some double colored swatches, some rainbow, um, and some with some patterns on it, which I think that would be super fun for like a cafe. And then we have this, um, I guess, gazebo, which again, I feel like I've seen this in a lot of people's houses and backyards or like at events and things like that in Australia. So again, I feel like it's very universal i guess um and you can see there's like a whole market stall set up so this is the um all year fixins untenable food stand oh i think i said that wrong but that's okay um so it's got some funky fun colored swatches and then this is like the the bit that goes over the top without the stall um we have this fun new sign so it's got a bunch of different swatches on it and then this little gnome who is covered in fungus. Um, and then the for rent sign, which is super important to have if you want to rent out your home, I guess. Um, we have a tuk-tuk. There is a debug one, but this is a not debug one, but they both don't do anything. Um, they're just visual. We cannot write in them, unfortunately. Uh, we do have this massive entrance, I guess. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. There's so much detail in it, and I think it's really pretty. And then we have down here is the... I didn't really know where to put it, so I kind of just slid it in there. Um, it's a pool floaty. It's got some really fun, funky colours, which I love. And then we have our three... Uh, columns that we got and I love how detailed they are um, especially this one like it's very ornate and beautiful I think that's my favorite swatch so far yep that's my favorite swatch um, and then we have this one again it's it's got just enough detail on the bottom I think a lot of the times we just get plain ones or ones that are way too detailed like this is beautifully detailed but sometimes you just want something simple uh, then we have some bedside tables, and then obviously we have the beds. Um, I did not forget about them. I know I started here and went around them, but yes, these are the beds. I'm not too sure which one's my favorite. Probably this one. Um, but yeah, so we've got some decent swatches, but you can see that there are these little sheer curtains over it. Um, and I, I love it. Yeah. Uh, let me know what your favorite thing was in this entire build. Uh, build, sorry, build by overview. Um, and what you're most excited for and what you wish they had added as well. Because I think they have done really well with what they've done so far with this. Um, I say so far, like they're going to add more for this. But, you know, they did really, really well. But yeah, if you wanted to see more, definitely let me know. And uh, that's it for me. So thank you for stopping by and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!